Hi there, welcome to The Beaten Trail, and in this episode, we revisit Dixon Miller in Pennsylvania, part of the DCNR trail system. Last time we were here, we were on a trail model, and this time, we decided to head back with our Grizzly 700 XTR. Hey everybody, it's Mike from The Beaten Trail. We are headed out to a few smaller locations to do reviews. Just to revisit one and to first time visit one, the old Dixon Miller. So we're looking forward to getting out there and uh, have some video for you. So stay tuned and we'll see you out there on the trail. Dixon Miller is located in the eastern part of Pennsylvania and not too far from the Pocono Raceway, which makes it quick and easy for people to get to in the tri-state area. So we headed out there and brought a couple trail models. The limits here are 58 inches and it has to be class one, ATV or side-by-side -side only with a maximum weight of 1,200 pounds. Dirt bikes are not permitted. We brought our Grizzly and unloaded, got on the trails as soon as we can. A smaller riding area of about 14 or 15 miles, the trails will vary in difficulty but are all pretty basic and medium difficulty. Everything is extremely well labeled. You will run into higher speed straightaways. Last we were there it was not too different. The map is pretty basic. It does offer many crisscrossing trails. And as you can see, a little bit of mud, a little bit of water and dust, but not too much mud. There's always a nice canopy of shady trees above to make these trails cool even on the hottest days. You can bring your ATV there and some of the trails are a little bumpy but you will find mostly beginner roadways and trails and a little bit of mud here and there. It's one of the best deals for $20 for a DCNR registration for two years for your ATV or Class 1 side-by-side. -side. We'll put up a link and you can get registered and it is open during non-hunting season. Please follow all the signs. You are surrounded by wildlife refuge as well as state game land, so follow the signs. We didn't have any issues fitting anywhere. The gates are there to keep full-size vehicles out, but you'll see signs appropriately listing and reminding you of what size vehicle you can bring here. And a good assortment of trails, like I said, everything is labeled very well. You can use Onyx or Maprika or Ride Command and most of the trails will be listed appropriately by number. We found some water and a little bit of mud, but overall just a great place for beginners just to get out and enjoy the trails. Dixon Miller, you could spend a couple hours there, but you'd finish it all in a day. Dixon Miller is about 14 miles worth of trails, so uh, either way, we had a great time. Uh, the Grizzly did a great job. We had a bunch of Razor trails there with us as well. But really, we had a great time, and so I recommend if you do have kids with ATVs, or you just got a new ATV, or you have a Class 1 that meets the restrictions on where you want to ride, they're great places to go. All you have to do is be registered in PA. You uh, have to have registration and insurance, and uh, they do also accept out-of-state registrations. Uh, there's a complete list. We'll put it down in the video, but it's New York and New Jersey are included as long as you have proper registration. Bring it with you and that's it. So uh, we hope to see you out there on the trail. We'd like to thank our partners and sponsors for being on board. Thank you very much. Be sure to get over to Lit Industries for 50% off while supplies last all hex and billet lights. Get some hats and shirts over at the apparel store. Thank you for watching the beaten trail and this update of Dixon Miller, and we hope to see you out there on the trail. Awesome Thanks. Dixon Miller. I wonder if they came in and cleaned them up. No, I 
I'd be surprised to admit that they just don't get any life preserved on the bottom.